What's going on, Warriors? This is Isaiah Jackson from The Gentleman of Crypto here with a sponsored review of Vivalos. It is the first decentralized social network based on the principles of Swiss democracy, and it looks to be a new world social media platform where users will get the right to decide what happens, much like the Swiss democratic system. And they are looking to protect the, the data privacy of the users, and no one has to share extensively personal data. Users can allow uh, people to use their personal data, but they will not be rewarded for that. Uh, they also integrate business models that allow users to make money in different ways, like trading, marketplaces, and NFTs. And if we look here at their home website, uh, pretty good looking website, as you can see, the principles of Swiss democracy is what they're going for. Um, and they give you the why of, of Vivlos here, uh, which you can read through the white paper as well, uh, which we'll go through here in a second, as well as the infographic. Uh, these are some of the companies that support good little lineup coin telegraph bloomberg yahoo finance the coin rise um, problems and solutions uh, whenever you're looking at a project uh, like vblos you want to see what the problem is and what solution are they providing so uh, you can read here they're looking at blockchain as a liberating force uh, also business models uh, again the nft market the social media market is still pretty new so uh, you can come up with new business models to share revenue and freedom and zero demonetization so uh they want to remove the complex interests present in the traditional social media sector so <clears throat> you can definitely see that nowadays with uh, people being deplatformed uh some messages being taken away uh projects like this are very needed uh, it's built for the people by the people again uh they based it on swiss democracy trying to make sure everybody has an equal say uh they want to try and bring you into the future by joining their new economic system uh, and it can be your own personal ecosystem, which they describe here. So they present the problems and they show their solution as well. Uh, they have decentralized governments. Uh, you have the ability to buy uh, the token as well. Uh, so you can visit uh, the exchange to do that, which we'll visit here in a second. Uh, we'll look at the audit as well. If you are interested in the videos or education, uh, they have a few here for you. And uh, it's basically, as you can see here, VBLOS uh, stands for Video Blog Society. And uh, they're showing the stakeholders here, which are three different groups, content creators, marketers, and general users. So uh, all of these uh, different stakeholders are components of the ecosystem. And uh, it actually shows exactly where what their place is in this ecosystem to have a decentralized social media. Um, uh, for these projects, uh, token allocation uh, here is pretty standard. Uh, founders get 20%, early contributors get 10%, marketing and promotion is 5%, advisors and team is 5%, and then liquidity and staking rewards is 60%. So if you've been in the industry long enough, uh, you know that most projects uh, have a pretty standard uh, token allocation, much like this one. Uh, nothing really big here, but they do have some good specifications that you want to go through. It is on Binance Smart Chain, as you can see here. The token supply is at 3 billion, uh, so there's only 3 billion tokens here, and uh, it goes up to 18 decimals, as well as it is burnable. So these they can have a token burn at some point uh, in order for the scarcity to increase, uh, which incentivizes uh, more usefulness of the token and helps the entire ecosystem as a whole. And I like here that they actually have transparency with their investors. Uh, as you can see here, uh, Vivlos Wallets, they actually allow you to see the wallets of the people or of the different uh, allocations of the token, which I think is a great model to have. Uh, just make it transparent from the beginning. And if you want to see the wallets here, uh, they have the liquidity and staking rewards uh, where you can view that wallet. Um, they also have the early investors wallet as well, where you can see exactly how much uh, they have earned. Uh, you can see the marketing promotion as well, 70 million tokens. Uh, put into circulation so you can actually do a semi audit yourself uh, even though we'll look at the full audit here in a second uh, strategic investors founders uh, founder one two and three so you can actually go to this page and see exactly where the money is going which has been a big problem in a lot of new projects so it's good to see that Viblos is taking it seriously and implementing transparency into their project and here we have the white paper, um, which is only about 24 pages long. Not very long for some projects. We've seen some that go into 70, 80, even 100. Uh, but <clears throat> the next generation tokenized social interaction platform, Video Blog Society, uh, is uh, here and has just started in June of 2021, less than a year old. 
And the executive summary here, uh, as you can read through yourself, if you visit the white paper, which is listed below in, in the chat, uh, you can actually see um, exactly what they're trying to solve. Uh, Vivos is a tokenized mixed social network that supports social interactions and community creation based on democracy and freedom of expression. Of course, there are limits that should not be exceeded, but Viblos will never demonetize or censor anyone for having a different opinion. That is unfortunately the path that most of the big platforms have decided to take. And if you live in a place where uh, the algorithm basically pushes out quote-unquote bad speech, and if you live in the social network world, you can actually see this happening in real time. So hopefully they can come up with a way uh, where your privacy isn't taken, as they say here. You don't steal the user's privacy and where everybody can have their own say and create their own e ecosystem. So 24 pages here, uh, they introduce it to you, talk about the challenges, um, the lack of monetization, which that is a huge problem. A lot of people on social media uh, have not monetized properly because these big platforms take a huge chunk uh, only because they have the amount of visibility to attract you. So that's why you uh, may want to look at things like Viblos uh, because it gives you the ability to have some control uh, it, they talk about government censorships, lack of the right of erasure, uh, proliferation of fake content, security. All of these things are outlined in their white paper. And uh, let's scroll down here a little more. Uh, mission and vision. Uh, it actually describes blockchain just in case it's a newbie just starting out. Uh, different uh, algorithms, proof of work, proof of burn, proof of elapsed time, proof of stake. There's plenty of them, um, you know, to go around. Uh, it talks about immutability, tokenization, uh, openness, and of course, they get to the benefits of blockchain use and social media networks. Uh, and of course, uh, that has been explored uh, by a few different projects, but Viblos is looking to take advantage of the current climate where we're actually seeing some of the fears of before coming to light. Uh, so this, this is probably perfect timing uh, for this, this project here. And if you keep going through the white paper, you'll see you know content creators, marketers, uh, showing exactly how they are involved in the ecosystem. Um, some of the technical specifications, Binance Smart Chain, which is a chain that they've used uh, in order to issue these tokens. And <clears throat> you can also see the network architecture that they plan to have uh, as well uh, for the platform. So it's a lot of good information uh, if you want to learn about Viblos on the white paper. Uh, and I would suggest definitely going there and studying in it if you want to be involved in the project to try and have some sort of uh, democratized social media. And uh, one thing I mentioned earlier was uh, the ability to purchase Viblo. Uh, P2P, B2B is one exchange where you can actually purchase it. Um, and if you don't have an account, go ahead and log in or register today so that you can use it. Um, and if you look, this is pretty early in the market, uh, actually very early in the market. Uh, if you look at, you know, four hour charts, uh, this project hasn't really been around that long. Uh, as you can see here, again, less than a year. It's only been on the market here since November. So very early in the project. Uh, and you could use Tether. They have a Tether trading pair here for you to use. So uh, that is possible. And I also wanted to point out when I said before that the transparency was a big thing. Transparency with our investors. This page here where you can see the wallets. Another part of transparency is the smart contracts. So uh, if you are not a developer, that's fine. One thing you want to look for is you want to look for smart contract audits. And usually if they have a security audit, uh, I usually take down the names of the people who do the audit so that you can you know follow up with that. But if they have a good audit process, you should be able to go through here and see that they have been audited. Uh, they show you the steps one by one. Um, they show you the type of publication. Uh, they show you the overview of the audit. Uh, the good thing here is the first thing is the checkpoints. They tell you uh, it's one file, approximately 610 lines of code. Uh, they show you some of the attacks uh, to make sure the contract is secure. Uh, they also discuss here uh, some of the underflow and overflow that may, may happen. So again, even if you're not a developer, once you see this in enough projects, you can see that auditing a lot of these smart contracts platforms takes a lot of work and you want that to be done so you don't have an exploit because we've seen dozens of DeFi projects have exploits and it looks like uh, Viblos is addressing that here so the short address attack they have that they have the checkpoints for visibility and delicate calls uh, re-entry uh, and the DAO hack um, so they're addressing that forcing Ethereum to a contract uh, they show you all of that so all of the checkpoints here they even include the code so if you are a developer you can see it for yourself 
And this is great to have because again, you have a checklist right here, issue description. All of these things are part of good audits and Viblos has been uh, tested. So uh, if you want to view the test net, you can see some of the different tests there as well. So uh, going back to the homepage here, Viblos uh, is a project that is looking to democratize uh, social media and is also looking uh, to change the way people interact with each other long term. So glad to see these different solutions coming. And if you need to know what's coming up next, uh, this is the roadmap starting in 2022. They have the closed beta, uh, public beta, and then they're going live with the MVP in quarter two and opening registration. So this is a great time to jump on Viblos and make sure that you can collect your tokens. So uh, check out uh, Viblos website here, uh, which you can view uh, at Viblos.com and uh, make sure that you check out the transparency aspects, the audit, the white paper, and make sure you do your research. Cheers.